Sarah Khairi is a resident of Port Sudan on the coast of the Red Sea. She has been struggling to get clean water for about a year. We don't have enough water. We haven't seen water in pipes for a year now, and we buy the available water at very high prices. This situation is unbearable. The government should tackle this issue immediately. Drinking water costs $1 per two gallons, which is not enough for daily consumption. This adds another burden to already overwhelmed households. The ongoing armed conflict, drought and insufficient infrastructure are affecting access to safe drinking water. This is compromising proper hygiene and sanitation, exposing millions of Sudanese people to risk of diseases. The UN reports that more than 17.3 million people in Sudan lack access to basic level drinking water supply. This poses a grave challenge to Sudan's sanitation and health systems. In cities hosting a growing displaced population like Port Sudan, the pressure on existing water systems is intensifying, while in conflict hotspots, damaged water infrastructure further compounds the crisis. We buy water, it's expensive, bad and salty, but we don't have any other choice, whether to drink this water and get sick or you thirst. The main water supply systems, mostly located in the capital Khartoum, have been heavily impacted by rockets, bombs and other explosive weapons, which have damaged critical infrastructure such as water treatment plants. Experts believe further deterioration of the water system can only be stopped if the fighting ends.